Good morning. How are you? Good? Yes. Good. So, good morning. I, start, good morning. I want to tell you something. Yes, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, teacher. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Before we start, I want to tell you that you can go to school and look at the booklet. المكتب عرفتك وراكي مكتب كمان مرة في بوكلت لمادة الماس تقدر تراجع المدرسة وتأخذوا منها تقدر تحلوا عليه المادة اللي احنا عم نراجعها تحكوا لبعض الناس مش عارف So today we're gonna revise also we are in fashion. So here if we want to compare who can tell me what's the next number for for the first one for the first figure? What's the what's the next number for the first figure? Who can tell me? Yes, Mariam. Yes, Mariam. Can you tell me? Three and five out of six. Yes, it's three and five out of six. Excellent. The second one. Um. No, not you. Two. No, not you. Aid, can you read the second fraction? Yes. Yeah, tell me, what's the second fraction? How many holes do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Hole. Six. Five, five. Look, we have, this is one hole and this is one hole. So how many holes do we have? Two. Two and? And a half. Not half. Count the shaded here. Yeah, count with me. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Five out of what? Five. Five. What? Five. Five out of six. Six. Okay, great. Now, if I want to tell you the steps for comparing mixed number, we first compare the whole number. If the whole number are equal, compare the fraction. If the denominator are different, make them the same. Let's start by the first step. Here, compare the whole number. What's the whole number here and what's the whole number here? Janal Ali, can you answer? The whole number uh, in the first one is three, and the whole number in the second one is two. Yes. So which one is bigger? Three. Three. three so do we need to look at the fraction? No, because already the whole number is bigger. When the whole number is bigger, we don't need to look at the fraction at all. Is this step clear? Okay, let's see the second case. Who wants to tell me the first crack, the first next number? Next number. Ayham. Ayham, how is the first shape? Uh. How many holes do you have, Ayham? Uh, 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 six, Why six out of one. One, excellent. Six out of eight. One and six out of eight, excellent. The second one, for now. Yes. The second one, how do we read it? 
One and one out of eight. Thank you. So now we have one and six out of eight and one and one out of eight. If we follow the comparing steps, it says that compare the whole number. We have here one and here one. So we can't compare. What should we do? We look where now? Then for E, can you tell me we look where now? If, if we look at the digits that uh, are up and down, the six and the eight and one and They are called fractions. We're gonna look at fractions. The fractions. So we have six out of eight and one of, out of eight. Can we compare them? Yes. Yes, because they have the same what? The, uh, the same... Uh, denominator. Den denominator. Hard to say. Okay, repeat. Here is the word, denominator. Denominator. Excellent. So when they have the same denominator, we can compare. Which one is bigger than? Uh, six out of eight. Yes. So one and six out of eight is greater than one and one mm -hmm. out of eight. Who has any question about this? Who has any question about this? Now let's go. Here, Nina okay. Asaf, can you read the first miss number? Are you with us? Who wants to read? Raise your hand. Who wants to read? Adam. Adam Tuba. Hello. Yes. Adam, can you? I have a question. Yes. Miss what? Can you read the first number? Next number? The first number is one whole and one out of the answering. Okay, now again. Just can I ask? Question. One hole. Yes, Abdul Rahman. One hole and and one out of it. Thank you. The one. Who wants to read it? Yes, Abdul. One hole of. No, one Abdul Rahman. Let's have Abdul. Can you read the second one? Teacher me. Uh, one uh, one out of uh, one and one out of two. Thank you so much. Now, or one and a half. Yes, thank you, Shaman. Now, if we compare the whole, they are the same. And if we want to, think, to compare the fraction, they are not the same denominator. What should we do? We're gonna ask. I want to, can I change two to eight, the small number, to the bigger number? Can I make yes. function with the two? So I make it eight. How can I change it? Lena Sophie, can you answer? Yes. yes. How can you change two to eight? We yes. multiply the two by four. Yeah. So I multiply the two by four and the one also. Yeah, one multiply four equals four. The whole number is the same. I multiply one by four to get four, two by four to get eight. So I should multiply the, the numerator and the denominator with the same number. Why? To get the same denominator. So I need to get the same denominator. Yeah. Yes, now you have any questions? Teacher, I don't understand the step. Okay, again. We have here two denominators. They are they are different. We have eight 
and we have two. Now ask yourself, can I change the small number to the bigger number? Now, no. what's the small denominator that you have, your guys? Two. Two. Can you change two to eight? Can you multiply two with a number to get eight? Yes. Yes, by what? <laughs> by four. So, you should multiply the denominator and the numerator with the same four. So, one times four is four, and two times four is eight. So, this is the new fraction that we get. But if two was three. Okay, wait. We're going to have now another case. Okay. Omar and Tibari, do you have any questions? Omar and Tibari, you are raising your hand. Do you have any questions? Yes. 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 Uh, here, how, how we will make it? How we will change it? I didn't understand it. Okay, again, yeah, Omar. You look at the denominator. Is the denomin are the denominators the same? No. No. So, look at the small number. Can you change 2 to 8? Can you multiply 2 with a number to get 8? Yes. Yes. You multiply it by what? 2. 2 and 4. Yes, so you multiply two times four, and the numerator, do we leave it or also we multiply it? We will multiply it? Yes, we multiply it by the same number. So, one times four is four as you see, two times four is eight as you see. Oh. Now, when you compare them, which one is bigger? One and four out of eight. Right, your command? Right. Okay, who uh, has the other question? You have a question. Raise your hand. Jenna, you have a question? You have yes. a question? Yes. Okay. Teacher, uh, there was a question before. Mm -hmm. That one and six out of eight compared to one and one out of eight. I didn't know how to do it. There is nothing to do, Yajana. We say, compare the whole numbers, one and one. So, can we do anything? No, right, Yajana? Yes. If the whole numbers are equal, compare the fractions. Here you have a fraction, six out of eight, and here one out of eight. Which one is the greater, Yajana? Six out of eight. Yes, that's it. Is it clear? Okay. Oh. Yes. Yes. Why we multiply the four? Four. Why you mean why do we multiply it by four? Yes, okay. one by. Four. No, no. Why? Why we multiply the one? Because when you multiply any fraction, you should multiply numerator and denominator. You can't multiply just one part. Okay. okay. Now let's see this. Who wants to read the first number? First one. Farah Haskur, can you read the first one? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. One whole and one out of three. Again, you said what is it? One whole and one out of three. The second one. Yeah. One whole and one out of four. Yes. Now, I have two different denominators. Can I change three to four? Can I multiply three to get four or four to get three? No, what should I do? What should I do? Layan Munir, can you tell me what should I do? Um, we have to look at the first number. Okay. Uh, so uh, the one and the one are the same, so we can't compare. Yes, so we look at the fraction. So we look at the, uh, the fraction. It ha we have here one out of three and, three and, four. and one out of four. Okay, let's do 
So the one out of four is bigger than the one out of three. No, of course. We should have it's the same denominator. Do we have the same denominator, Yalea? No. No. So you should see what, how can we multiply three to get four or four to get three? We can't. But you have, we multiply them by 12. Not by 12. We multiply them by each other to get 12, you mean? To get a common multiple. No. Oh. Okay, so we're going to multiply the first fraction by what number, Leanne? By 4. By 4. We're going to multiply 1 by 4 and 3 by 4. And the second number, we're going to multiply it by what? By 3. By 3. So now, if we compare, is 1 and 1 out of 4 is bigger, Leanne, like you see? No. No, which means we get? The, the one and one out of three. Thank you so much. Again, I'm going to repeat it. We look at the denominator. The denominators are three and four. Can we change three to four or four to three? No. What should we do? We're going to multiply the first fraction by the second denominator. So we're going to multiply one by four, three by four to get one and four out of 12. And we're gonna multiply the second fraction by the first denominator. So we're gonna multiply one by three and four by three. Now, do we get the same denominators? Yes, as you see, we have the same denominator. Then compare four is bigger than three. Now, before the five minutes, I, I forgot who asked me about this example. I think I see. Right? What? You told me if it is two and three, something like this. If they are different denominators. Is it three now? Three. Teacher, what? Teacher, but why should the denominator be the same? Because in comparing, in comparing fractions or mixed numbers, if the denominators are not the same, you can't compare. Look at this example. Right, look at this example. For example, you look at the figure here. We have one and one out of three and one and one out of four, right? Yes. If you want to compare without making the denominator the same, you're going to tell me that one and one out of four is bigger, right? Yeah. This figure. Look also at the figure from the shape. It's one. And one out of four is bigger than one and one out of three. I want to to change no. three. No. So, because of this, it's easier for you to make the denominator the same to compare correctly. Okay? Okay, Celine, you are raising your hand. What's your question? Um, teacher, I don't understand this. Celine, again, if you have different denominators, just what should you do is ask yourself, can I multiply three by any number to get four, Ethelene? No. Can I multiply any number by four to get three? No. Okay. So, so multiply the first fraction with the second denominator, whatever it is. It's 12. Yes, and multiply the second fraction with the first denominator, whatever it is. When you multiply by this, we're going to have the same denominator as you see. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, now can we yeah. compare? What? Can we compare now? Yes. Okay. Who still have any questions? Okay, let's move. Who wants to compare here? Please, me. Five. Yes, guys. Okay. One out of four of six of two. Yes, guys. What's the first step? You look where? Um, to the first number. You mean the whole? The whole. Okay. So it's two. Excellent. Twenty-five. Welcome.
Then, Habib, can you do the second one? Um, uh, two, um, six and seven is the bigger than two and three. Two and six out of seven is bigger. Oh no, yeah, I solved it. No, it's uh, two, uh, two and three after that. Okay, what you did? Tell us. Uh, because if we did two and seven, like if it's... Uh... No. Now, the first is that look at the whole, right? The whole are the same. We look yes, at the yeah. Two out of three and six out of seven, they don't have the same denominator. What should we do, Yazin? Um, we're gonna look at the fractions. We're gonna look at the fractions. Yes, they don't have the same denominator. What should we do? We're gonna change the three to the seven. Okay, can you multiply three to the seven? Um, no, we can't. So, what should we do? So, we're gonna multiply, um, A two with seven? No, we said we multiply the first fraction with the second denominator, right? Yeah. And the second fraction with the first denominator. What should we do? We multiply two and three by what is in? With the with seven. Okay. And the second fraction with what? Six. With Six out <coughs> of oh, seven with what? With six. With six, where is the first denominator is in? Here is it, here. It's what, is this it? Say it. what is it? Two. <laughs> the first denominator, what is it? Here? The first denominator at the two. Here's a two. Okay, so then denominator, is it the number which is up or down? It's the up. Up? No, it's numerator. The denominator. Oh, yeah, okay. Is down. Down. So you're going to multiply 6 out of 7 with what is in? With the 3. Okay. So 2 over 3, when we multiply it by 7, what we will get? 21. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to apply 3 and 6, we're going to multiply it together. Yes. Okay. So the first number, it will be 2. 18. Yes. The second number, it will be 2 and 18 out of 21. And the first number, 2 and what? And 2 with 7 is 14. So, 14, we have the first one 14, the second one 18. Which one is bigger? Uh, so 18. Excellent. 2 and 6 out of 7. This is in. Who wants to make the third one? Dan al Hajj. Okay, teacher. Three and three are equal. Yeah. This the three or two aren't equal. I can't hear you. The second, which one? Three and three and two. The three is bigger. So which fraction, which next number is bigger? This. The three. Read the, read the mixed number. The three and three over five. Thank you so much, Dana. The last one who wants to make it. Noor Nasser. Noor. Nur Nasser, you are raising your hand. Do you want to answer? Miss, you can't hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Mm. Yes. Nur, do you want to answer? Yes. Okay, yeah, I'll answer. This 
first fraction is two, the first mixed number two and five out of ten, two and the three out of four. What should we do here is yeah, no. No boy. Hamze, can you make it? Yes. 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 Can you make it, Hamze? Are you speaking yes, yes. to me? Uh, are there two Hamze? Okay. Not Hamze, uh, I can the other one. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. What should we do? What are the steps? Two, five, ten. Yeah. The four, the didn't seem with the ten. Yeah. Yeah. And three, four. So you're going to multiply the first fraction with the second denominator, which is what? Four. Okay. And the second fraction, you're going to multiply it by what? And multiply by... Out of the by what, Hamza? Just a minute. Hamza, are you trying to do it in the paper? No. Okay, so tell us. Five out of ten, multiply it by four. Do it in the paper. It's easier for you. Don't you have a paper? No. Okay. What? Five out of ten. Five multiplied by four. What is that? Five multiplied by four. Uh, Twenty. Twenty. And ten times four. Ten times four. Fourteen. Okay, here. Three times ten. Thirty. And four times ten. Forty. So we have here thirty and we have here twenty. Out of forty, which one is bigger? Thirty or twenty? Forty. Thirty. Thank you. Teacher, the class is finished. Yes, I know. Teacher, oh. uh, what? Uh, I just came now because it didn't load. Okay, I'm gonna send you a link if you want. But okay. We just compare mixed numbers. Hi. Oh, okay. Teacher, I didn't understand. Hi, uh, oh, teacher. Okay. Have a nice day. Okay, bye. 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 See you. I don't wanna be like.